today we're going to be looking at mobility session number two. So session number one was all about the front split. Session number two is about the middle split. So it's broken into three sections. You'll do each section three times. So three of this, three of this, three of this. The way that I'd like to see it done is with the handstand. So your handstand work and you'll come and do section one. And you'll do that three times accompanying the handstand work. And then you'll do section two with more handstand work. And then section three as well. You can do this by itself or you can do it with strength work as well. So just always come back to it and doing three rounds of each. So let's have a quick look at it. So we've got butterfly stretch. I'll show you that. We've got leg swings and then we move to section two. We've got pancake, optional weighting, which I'll show you today and leg lifts. And then section three, we've got straddle ups and middle split. So working towards this end goal of doing the middle split. Sweet. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna put this over here. First exercise, we're gonna look at the weighted butterfly. And there's gonna be options if you don't have any weight, um, so we can press down into it, but I'm gonna show you the weighted option. So if you can get a hold of some weight, a weight plate and maybe some kettlebells, so it would be absolutely perfect. So we're gonna sit back to the wall. And for the first little bit, I just want you to warm it up. So you're just gonna bounce up and down. Warm it up, maybe pulling the head down. Cool, maybe just do a little round here. So just pushing the knees down, lifting up, contracting, relaxing. All right, sweet. Then we're gonna grab some weight. So I've got 20 kilos here. Probably won't use 20 kilos in the beginning. So maybe you start with like 10 kilos or something like that and slowly start to build that up. You can use kettlebells, you can use little weight plates, you can use dumbbells. Kettlebells are definitely the most comfortable. If you find that you can do this exercise and get your uh, knees comfortably on the ground, what you want to start to do is place a little block underneath so then you've got more range to work with. So that's if it's too easy. All right, cool. So let's do first round. So we've got 10 reps of the butterfly. So we're gonna Throw the weight up. It's a little bit awkward to get into this one. Yeah. Okay. And then from here, right on the top of the knees, we're going to do reps. So we're going to pull all the way up and then all the way down. We're going to do 10 reps. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then holding down here, so big breaths. You can even add a little bit more weight to it if it's not heavy enough with the weights that you actually have. So when I first started this, I couldn't get my knees down. So right now I'm getting my knees down. So with my practice, I'm actually putting a block underneath my feet when I will do it for my like working set. All right, cool. Once we've rested about 10 seconds after our 10 reps, we're gonna do three contract and relax. So, what does that mean? We're going to be lifting the knees up and forcing the weight down so the knees won't move, but the action is lifting the knees up. So it's just gonna create tension and contraction through our adductors. So we're gonna lift up now, for five, four, three, two, one, relax. And with my hands, I'm just adding more weight. Go again, up, five, four, three, two, one, Relax. Such a good stretch. Okay, last one. Up, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Try to let it all go. All right, cool. So then maybe another 10 seconds after the three contract and relax. Seeing if we can gain a little bit more range. And then we're gonna slowly come out of it. It's gonna be a big thud. Cool. All right, the second section, in the, in the first one is the leg swings. So you're just gonna hang onto the wall and we're just gonna swing the legs out. So really simple, just actively using that range. We're gonna do 10 reps. I'll just demonstrate five here and then we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hands off, nine, 10. You go around this side. So you do 10 reps. I'll just demonstrate five here though. So swinging out, just using the wall for support. Once you've done 10, you hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, cool, that's it. So that's the first exercise. 
You've got the butterfly and you've got the leg swings together in combo. All right, so we're just gonna move these kettlebells out of the way. Let's move on to section two. So section two is the pancake and the leg lifts. Okay, let's have a look at the pancake position first. So if you find it really difficult to establish this anterior tilt, so if you're more, I'm just gonna go to the side. So if you're more in like this position here, it's really, it's really a struggle to sort of get any closer than this. What I want you to do is, I want you to set yourself up on a little block, maybe even higher than this. And this will just help with hinging at the hips. So maybe even higher, maybe it's three or four blocks. We can sit on a little bench or a chair, depending on your position. So yeah, if you need help, you can be in this position here. I'm gonna go from the floor today. So let's warm it up first. So before we do our actual sets, you don't have to do this every round, because we're gonna do three rounds of each exercise. So we're just gonna do this on the first one. Just a few pulses to the side, maybe 10 reps. And we'll do 10 reps forward. And then 10 to the other side. You could do more or less. All right, so we've limited the position up. Then we're gonna grab our weight. So I've got 15 kilos here. You can start nice and light if it's, if it's um, your first time doing it. So we go here, bring it in front, legs nice and wide, past 90 degrees if possible, that's about 90 there, so a little bit wider than 90. We're gonna take the weight up over the head, and then from here, let's go from the side if we can. From here, we wanna to try to keep the back as straight as possible. So we're hinging at the hips, just like we would in a straight-legged deadlift. So from here we hinge, we go as far forward as we can, maybe this is as far forward as you can go with a straight back. Then we can round the spine out, maybe try to touch the elbows down and come back up. As you get better at this, you can go further, straight, then hinging, and then rolling the back to get to the ground. So the first point you want to try to make is the elbows, then you want to go to the head, maybe the chin, and eventually once you increase the mobility, you can get the chest and the stomach down. So I'm just going to do the reps now, so we're doing 5 to 10 reps with the hold at the bottom. So, I'm going to do five reps as a demo for you. Here we go. So, down one, two, three, Ooh, it's hard work. Four, last one, five. We're going to take the weight further down our back and we're just going to relax here. So you might not look like this, maybe it's like this. You know. Cool, once you've done 30 to 60 seconds resting, you're gonna take the weight gently off your back. And then we're gonna do leg lifts. So, we're gonna do 10 reps of leg lifts. And then we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. So straight after that, the weight comes off, we go into it. So, hands flat down on the ground, making sure you're pressing those first knuckles into the ground. Protract and we're going to lift. Straight legs, point the toes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift and hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's the set. So you've got your ten reps, five to ten reps of uh, weighted pancake. You're resting down the bottom for 30 to 60 seconds, and then you're gonna do 10 by 10 for the leg lifts. So that's the exercise number two. We're gonna move on to the straddle ups. I'm gonna set this up here actually, just to give you a little demo. All right, so the straddle ups, you might need to, if you're fairly new to this, so I can do it off the ground. So I'll show you my version that I'm going to be doing. So I'll go from here and I'll press straight legs and I'll come all the way to this middle split position and then I'll come back down. But it's probably not attainable in the beginning, so you're gonna prop yourself up, maybe a bunch of weight plates or yoga blocks, whatever it is, just so you can elevate your butt. You can either put your hands on the ground or hands here. So again, straight legs. This is the easier version. Lean forward, press to the top. Hands back down. Press to the top. What you'll find is as you move through it, the mobility will start to increase, it'll start to loosen up. So maybe take block away. 
and see if you can get to this level. This is a, a really good way to progress. We always want to look at progressing from mobility and strength to the top. All right, cool. So there's variations. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so we're going to do 10 straddle ups. I'm going to demonstrate three for you guys, and then you're going to do a 30 to 60 second hold. I'm going to leave a block in front of me because I can use that in a second. So, this is the set. I'm just going to demonstrate three. One, two, you know, you can start to get into no handed as well. That's where we want to get to. And then we hold for 30 to 60 seconds in the best middle split position you can find. You can use the block to take some of the weight off if you want. Breathing, pushing down into middle split. Trying to take all of the weight with the legs. Again, you can take some of the weight off with the hands. Once you've done 30 to 60 seconds, or 30 seconds of that, we're going to relax and passive. So take all the weight with the hands. You're just going to spend some time just moving forward and back. Big deep breaths. Maybe change the angle. Just bouncing, moving around. Just trying to melt into the deepest middle split you can. Give the legs a little bit of love after it. All right, so that's it. So you'll do three rounds of each one. You've got your leg swings and your butterfly, round one. Leg, uh, pancake and leg lifts, two. Straddle ups and middle split, number three. So that's nine sets total.